think we are live. There we are. Okay. Good to go. One viewer. Hello. <laughs> am I the am I is that me? Am I the, Oh no, that's you. Okay. Five viewers. Okay, we're we're climbing. What's up people? How's it going? We're 30 seconds into our live. I'm trying to find um, where I can see. Is there a way to get the comments over here to the left side? Do you know? I don't want to hit anything. Inter interactivity? That's quite a word. Hey, everybody, this is Holly. Holly, come in. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Holly is. Oh, there. Oh, hold on. I'm fine if it's smaller. Hey, what's up? Hello from England. Hey, England, I'm having some tea. Just for you. Austin, Texas. Lydia, you live in a very cool place. Hotel uh, San Jose, right? It's San Jose, right? I love that hotel. Indiana, what's up? What's going on, y'all? Beaumont, man, Texas is uh, repping strong. Christopher, I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. It's a good day in Atlanta. My kids went back to school today, so we're going to celebrate that. Holly Shin coming in strong. Springfield, what's up, you guys? How's it going? Albany, Georgia. <laughs> David, I'm going to do my best, man. Houston, what's going on? Plano. Guys, hello. It's good to be with you. Uh, always love being with the uh, Air One family. You guys are amazing. Um, you guys have been doing this, is it every Wednesday that this happens? Every Wednesday? That is a good flow. I like that. I think my friend um, Patrick Mayberry did this not too long ago. So. Well, listen, man, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. We're going to be here for the next like 15 or 20, and um, we'll play some songs and um, just hang for a little bit. Rachel Baldwin is a big Holly Shin fan. So, so guys, just a little update here in Atlanta. Uh, I'm drinking some chai, chai tea. Not that anyone cares. That's for England. Uh, it's a rainy day here. But uh, if you're just joining us, um, I have four kids. Uh, my son is a freshman in high school this year, and I have a seventh grade daughter, a third grade daughter, and a first grade daughter. And they're all back in school today, so all the parents said amen. Any parents out there? Any parents out there that uh, can celebrate with me that school is back? Uh, so it's a good day. Uh, I'm currently at our church in Atlanta, Georgia, at Passion City Church, and um, I'm going straight from here to a rehearsal for this Sunday, which is going to be amazing. So uh, I know we're tuning in from all over the place, and um, thank you guys for, for joining us. Um, I want to start just by playing this song that... Um, I wrote with uh, Brett Yonker and Cody Carnes, and uh, we wrote this song uh, in 2019, and we were getting ready for Passion 2020. Uh, we were going to be at Mercedes-Benz Stadium, football stadium here in Atlanta, and uh, we wrote this song called Let the Light In, and uh, we had no idea how prophetic this song uh, was going to be and how helpful it was going to be to our church here in Atlanta. Um, obviously, nobody uh, knew that we were going to be in a pandemic and that our nation was going to be um, kind of upside down and crazy. And so uh, this song became a real uh, anthem for our church here in Atlanta and um, 
for a lot of other people. And um, I just thought it'd be a good place to start. You know, it's a good prayer to uh, open up the windows and let the light in. And all that means is just open up your life, open up your heart uh, to God. And um, scripture says that he's the light of the world. And so the prayer of this song is that we would let Jesus shine on us. So wherever you are in the U.S. or around the world, um, I just pray even as we just sing a little bit here and talk a little bit that um, Jesus would shine on you wherever you are.
Let the King of Glory in. Come right in on your people's praise. Let the King of Glory in. Let the King of Glory in. Oh, come on and let him. stop you never stop working you never stop you never stop working even when I don't see it you're working even when I don't feel it you're working you never stop you never stop working oh he sees what we can't see he knows what we don't know even when I don't see it you're working even when I don't feel it you're working you never stop never stop working, you never stop, no Jesus, you never do it, even when I don't see it, you're working, even when I don't feel it, you're working, you never stop, you never stop working, oh, you gotta leave it, even when I don't see it, you're working, even when I don't feel it, I know that you're working, you never stop. you guys don't want to hear an out-of-tune guitar. How are we doing out there? Everybody feeling okay? I'm checking. Yes, yes, amen. That is who you are. Right on. Man, you guys, I feel like I just... We'll see here. Hold on. There it is. There's the culprit. All you guitar players out there, it was the B string usually is for me. So, um, I'm going to play one more song here. And, um, uh, and take a sip of tea. Cheers. So, um, the other night I went to a concert like a real live music concert. Has anybody been to a concert recently? I don't know if where you guys are from is 
that open. But I went to a concert the other night, and uh, it was uh, it was amazing. It was so good to be back in a room with people, listening to live music. There's an artist that I love, and um, he's a, a killer singer, um, killer guitar player, great songwriter. And uh, I love concerts. I love being in a live music setting. I think that's one of the things that I miss the most um, during quarantine, the pandemic, and lockdown was uh, tours shutting down and not being able to see my favorite artists perform live. So this was really good to be in a room with other people in a live music environment. It was at this like small club in downtown Atlanta. And um, I was there that night and I was really enjoying it. It was amazing. Uh, and then, you know, I was sitting there and I, it was Saturday night. So the very next morning I was going to wake up early and go to church. And I was going to lead worship at, at our church here in Atlanta. And I just started thinking about the difference between that live concert environment in the club downtown Atlanta and what we were going to do the next day at Passion City Church. And I just started thinking about this guy, this artist that I was in this club to see. He's amazing. And he had a great night. <laughs> uh, everything was hitting. And, uh, but I just started thinking, man, if this, on this guy's best night, like his voice could be flawless and his guitar playing could be flawless and the songs could be hitting the crowd like amazing. But on his best night, he doesn't have the ability or the authority to save a soul. And he doesn't have the ability or the power to heal what's broken in my life. And um, he doesn't have the ability to give me real hope to hold on to. Not this guy. But then the very next day we were going to be at church and I started thinking, man, how good is it to know that when we, when we gather together, even like right here, like, like right now, like I'm looking and seeing you go to, you know, over you know, 100 and almost 120, you know, 25 people tuned in here. Even all of us gathered here together, like the power that is in this moment, we are singing to a God that is alive. He is real. He is resurrected from the dead. He is on the throne. He is in charge. He is in control. And what he offers you and what he offers me is what nobody else can offer me today. Uh, he offers me life, eternal life. He offers me hope. He gives me hope. He heals what's broken in my life. He says, man, if you come to the end of your rope, I can give you a new start, a brand new beginning. That's the God that we're singing to. And that's what sets what we're doing here, even though like we're, I'm like looking at you on a, com on a computer, but even right here, that's what sets this apart from like a concert environment. We're not like observing something. We're not spectators. Even right here and now, we're not spectating. We are participating in what God is doing on the earth right now. So I was just thinking about that just in terms of just in you know, context of this next song. It says there's nothing that our God can't do. And just remembering that you can only really say that about one, one person. <laughs> You can only really say about one person, there's nothing that he can't do. And that person is Jesus. And that's who is, uh, I know I'm here and you're here, but he is here too. So um, Jesus uh, it just takes a word. It just takes one touch. And um, miraculously, you know and you see every person that's tuned in right now. And so I just ask that you would speak that word. That you would... You would uh, you would bring that touch to people's lives and that they would know that um, this is more than just songs, it's more than just music. It's a king. It's a risen king. Yeah, just one word You call the storm that surrounds It's just one word, the darkness has to retreat. And 
just one touch I feel the presence of heaven Yeah, just one touch My eyes were open to see My heart can't help but believe There's nothing that our God can't do There's not a mountain that He can move Oh, praise the name that makes a way There's nothing that a God can't do It's just one word You hear what's broken inside me It's just one word And you revive every dream Yeah, you do It's just one time I feel the power of heaven Right here with us now It's just one touch My eyes were open to see My heart can't help but believe There's nothing that our God can do There's not a mountain that He can move Oh, praise the name that makes a way There's nothing that our God can
So Lord, we just say that to you now, just um, more than a song that we've sung before, but really just the truth. Like uh, from our heart to you, Lord, we need you. We're fully dependent on you right now just for uh, every breath we take, every heartbeat, everything we need in life today, everything that every mom needs right now, everything that every dad needs right now on this feed, and everybody in between. But everything that we need today, we just confess that we find it in you. And so our eyes are on you. Our lives are for you. So lead us from this moment into uh, our jobs and our families and every circumstance and season of life uh, with confidence, knowing that you're with us. We're not alone. You got us. You're with us. And you never leave. We thank you for that. Amen. Amen. Hey, you guys are awesome. And... Um, I just want to say again to Air One, everybody there, we love you guys so much, and uh, we love visiting you whenever we get to see you face to face. But um, I'll take this, man. This has been amazing. Um, so much love to all of you guys. And uh, listen, if you're out there and uh, you're 18 to 25 year olds, we're doing Passion 2022, people. Boom! Uh, we're going back to Mercedes Benz Stadium, um, January 2nd and 3rd. Is that it? January 2nd and 3rd. Uh, passion2022.com. Check it out. I don't get any. I, I don't get paid for saying that. I don't get any kickback if you sign up. Uh, my life was changed forever uh, at a Passion conference. Um, I wasn't on stage leading. I was just a student in the crowd, and God changed my life forever. And you got to be there. It's going to be a moment uh, in, in in history and in your generation that you're not going to want to miss. So, check it out, people. Okay, listen, England. Good to see you. Texas, you came strong. David, I hope you hung in there. Much love to you, bro. All right. I'm going to end this live video. I think I can do it. Peace, people.